Uh, hello everyone, I would like to talk today about this simple tutorial for the optical flow. Here is Albert uh, and uh, his smart guy, he will help me. And uh, I'm using uh, OpenCV 4.5 compiled with uh, CUDA and uh, this method is uh, firing back optical flow. It's basically compute uh, the optical flow for each of the pixels. And I'm using just some grid to display my result and as well some threshold, which display just the result with some significant change. And uh, okay, let's uh, stop the code here and we will get back here later on. You can find everything on my blog, funvision.blogspot.com, and uh, here's the description, including all the prerequisites, uh, how to set up the environment, how to uh, as well compile OpenCV with contribution module and uh, and the CUDA. You can exclude the GS streamer, as I said here. Here is the configuration of the Visual Studio project together with CUDA and here's the description of the Farmback uh, optical flow class used to calculate this optical flow and here is short description of the God flow and uh, as always there is full source code included on the funvision.blogspot.com and uh, Let's go back into the Visual Studio and start with the configuration. Let's dive into the properties for C and C++. And here in the additional include directory, I have here standard uh, OpenC 4.5 include uh, directory and uh, as well the NVIDIA GPU computational toolkit CUDA version 11 include directory as well. In the linker, I have additional dependencies and I as always have much more than is needed, but definitely do we need high GUI core video IO, as maybe some uh, image codecs, image processing, uh, and for sure you will need this CUDA optical flow 4.5 flip. Maybe as well the other ones, but Visual Studio let you know if you need something. Uh, here in additional library dependencies in general, I'm using the standard library where the OpenC 4.5 flips are located. Uh, and here is the, uh, here are located the libraries related to GPU computational toolkit version 11 everything I need. Here in include directories there is uh, much more header than is actually needed. I don't think so. I need the algorithm. I don't think so. I need uh, oh, maybe I don't need as well image processing based on CUDA. What I definitely need is this uh, CUDA optical flow header file. Some standard header files like high GUI video, IO video core, and FS stream, IO stream, and Chrono is here to measure time needed to calculate this uh, optical flow. Okay, and uh, there is just one main, there is uh, no glass, nothing else. Everything is straightforward in main. Here I have two container, one, zero frames. Frame zero is for the current frame. And frame one is for frame in T minus one, its previous one. And uh, here is basically, I'm using the smart pointer here in OpenCV to that uh, class, which is computing the dense optical flow using that farm back algorithm. And uh, I basically using the default constructor and I'm not overriding any of these uh, default uh, default uh, values here. Okay, video capture. I will process the video from my laptop camera. And uh, here in the main loop, uh, there is an image container for the image from my camera. <coughs> Sorry for this. 
and this is colored image. The optical flow need to image convert it into the grayscale, and this gray image is frame zero. This is the conversion. In a first iteration over this loop, I have frame in T minus one entity, and I will def basically put this frame zero into that frame in T minus one. And this is basically everything what is, is the, done in the first iteration. Nothing from else is executed. And I'm go for the second image. In the second iteration, I will convert the new image from the camera into the frame one, into the current one. I'm skipping this one because frame one is already filled. And uh, I need some container for my output. I need to transfer my image, basically both image, the current image and image in T minus one into the GPU mat container which can be processed uh, on a GPU. And as well, I need to allocate something for where to store my results. Uh, Hana here is just, uh, I'm taking uh, time when I begin to calculate the optical flow and when I end as well together with, let's say, interpret the results and process this as a difference between end and begin to know how much time is needed to calculate the optical flow for these two images. Okay, I have my GPU uh, mat filled by the data from frame and frame in T minus one. And I will just calculate farm back uh, calc for two input arrays, which are first image, second image, the current image, and, uh, and uh, image in T minus one. And here I will put the result. Um, you can definitely put these images here in different order, these two. And the results here in GFlow are as well as GPU mat. And to interpret these results, you have to download basically these uh, results from the memory related, uh, related to GPU into the standard uh, mat container. And after you have this at standard mat container, you can access the results as uh, as it uh, as it is here, and I iterate over the rows and columns in ten with uh, ten and ten increments uh, for each axis to display just uh, every tenth uh, point in my grid. Here, this is just the amplifier and uh, and uh, as well, I'm calculating some difference between the pixels I'm actually evaluating and between the, the pixel where, uh, which are, which are uh, basically related to my change. And if this difference is, uh, exceed some threshold, I'm displaying, uh, displaying basically these results here. And uh, this is the initial point, and this is the point uh, related to where uh, the optical flow will uh, result basically is moving into the direction. And uh, I'm changing as well the color. Color is uh, based on this uh, kind of uh, difference uh, here between the initial point and uh, the point uh, where I'm actually moving in the next frame. And uh, here we talk about the chrono and there is just a display of the results which are, which are draw here as a line and circle. And uh, I need to every time in that else branch, update uh, the frame in T minus one to be able in the next iteration, just get the next image from the camera, have the updated T minus one image and calculate the optical flow for these two guys here and display the result as uh, you want. But the key is uh, 
download these results from the GPU map and interpret as, uh, as you wish. It's uh, totally up to you. And that's all. And uh, as I already said, everything is on my blog, farmvision.blogspot.com and the uh, source code is included here. And thank you for watching. That's, uh, that's everything I got.